It is indeed a sad day for fans and members of the Kwaito community. The family of Tukulo Makesh Shabalala have confirmed that the artist died this morning. I'm now joined in the studio here on today on ENCA by Gahiso Di Seko, known as Huayza, to talk about the loss to the community. Uh, Gahiso, good afternoon. It's a very sad day indeed. And how did you receive the news of the passing of a man of, uh, of Tukulo Stature, the man you worked with for many years as well in this world of music? I was, uh, a good, uh, hello sir. Uh, and and it's, a, it's a very shocking time now. It's still sinking in. I was in the bank um, in Santin, and I got a call from a friend of ours, a mutual friend, Monde Dube. He was calling to find out. He asked me, he said, is it true? And I said, ah, get out of here, man. Tukulu. We still got things to do, you know? And then after that, I got a call from a radio station, and they were asking me to confirm. So I was off the grid. I wasn't on social media. So that's when, that's how I got the news. And then everybody started trickling in. My sister called me, my mom, my friends. It's just a sad, sad, sad loss. I can't imagine what the family is feeling like. Yeah, he must have been like very close to you as well. I understand you, you were working together currently on, on a project. Yeah, we had some songs that we, we had worked on, but the last time we spoke was in December because we got mad at each other, you know, and we wasted time dwelling on that madness instead of reconciling quickly and getting over it. We thought, I thought I had time. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just one of those things. But I understand it's very sad at the moment. It's still sinking in. Yeah. But when you reflect back at his contribution, I mean, he's been described as a legend, one of, uh, of, of these countries who pioneered Kwaito music in this country. For real, yeah, it's, it's the truth. That's the realest because, um, I mean, in 1996 we met, um, I went to Sacred Heart, he went to St. Stephen's. We met through a mutual friend, Biko. And the music we were making was gas under the genre of Kwaito. So we were rapping primarily and then we came through and we wanted to include and be included in the commercial space and speak to the masses. So that's when we adopted the hip hop to Gaz. And he was, he, was, he was an amazing writer, an amazing composer. Tukulu was the kind of guy that when I met him, I knew we were gonna do great things. And I'm sure I'm not the only person that met him and knew they were gonna do great things with him. So he had that, that aura, he had that energy. So for him to be pronounced uh, dead today is a real shock. I mean, I thought I still had time I mean, with it. Yeah, still very yeah. young. I mean, at 45, and it all seems so sudden. And we always do think we have time, eh? Yes. And, until somebody close to us passes on, and yeah. we start reflecting on our own mortality as well. Yes, but you said he was a good writer. Brilliant. Are, are there some recollections of some great lyrics that pop to mind as you reflect in that journey since 1996 that come to mind now? Okay, so, 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 so. He's like, um, except for all that, Toby, it's like a fan. Unga kotwa nyama songe siya panda. Siya bezo wa titina siya telela. Siya bezo wa titina siya opela. Sama tela gufa songe organcha. You know, so, so, so that was, that was, that was absolutely amazing because he said so much in such a small space and he spoke to a spirit of resilience. He spoke to a spirit of, you know, he just spoke to, to victory in me. So, so that's one of the moments. This was on Zinjaza. And that will stay, I mean, I'm sure there's many others. I understand on social media, people are, are, are currently acknowledging that he was a great lyricist. That's why I ask you to, if you could uh, just reflect on, 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 on that. Now, one of the things that happen in our country with musicians when they pass on, we ask ourselves, how can we pay tribute to them? Right. And, and, and I mean, Kwaito is a South African genre of music. Right. And you plus Tukulo and the rest of the, of the people who were leading uh, at the time in the, in the 90s have contributed immensely to its enrichment. Right. How can this country honor somebody like him? Oh, that's, that's a difficult question. Um, I'll tell you from the infrastructure of just policy making at government level, you know, 
we are invisible. We are invisible. We don't have rights. We don't have um, burial packages. We don't have, I mean, Sambo on its own is an entity based on music, musicians, royalties. But they don't have programs to train musicians who come out of their golden era. Where do we go? We die paupers. So for government to consider the policy making and also to make provision for for, 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 for empowerment, because we're relying on talent. But when your season is over, you're out. And it's not just Tukulu. It's a lot of guys who die out of depression because they're broke. You've got to go back to your neighborhood. And people play songs, and you can't feed your kids. But people are going to jobs and nine-to-fives because your music is earning money. So that's something. If I can make a call, humbly, that's one way to honor, not just Tukulu, but the people who contribute to the masses of this country. You know? yeah. So his contribution, I mean, Magesh's contribution to, 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 to music in South Africa and to quiet and, and hip hop. And you mentioned, was it you, you came up with Magesh, you said? Gaz. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so uh, the TKZ family album was Gaz 2001. Yes. Yeah, that's. That's that's what launched the whole thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, it's I, 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 what about his journey that for you stands out? I mean, we've mentioned one already that he was a great writer, and you you, you recalled some of, of 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 those words for us. What else? Ah, uh, Tukulo, Tukulo was magic. Tukulo, Tukulo was funny. He could make fun out of tragedy, you know. Tukulo could 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 make a battle that seemed like it was so heavy, so light, you know. Um, he, 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 he's worked with the, the likes of younger generation artists like Deleuze, he's worked with Kulichana, he's worked with Boma Kasket, he's worked with Bospigiri. So Tukulo was a uniting guy. He, he, he was not like, I'm not working with so him. So music, his music evolved and, it, I mean, yeah. and, and he embraced the new, the new generation of, of young musicians. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Even, even, even going to work with other camps like Mendoza. There was a big rivalry because we were like coming from the so-called suburbs and we were, you know, so-called upper market or whatever and they were like gara gara, you know, so, but they broke that thing and they united everybody. So he was, he was, he loved music. Yeah. You know, he, he, he's run, he latest, lately said you guys were working together until December last year as you were saying, and you were working on some new sounds, I guess. Was it still in the same genre, from the quiet or from the hip-hop, or was it something new that you were working, you're going to be giving us a different sound, so to speak? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was an evolved sound. It was still gas, the way we were, but it was, like, I'll say better, you know. So, um, and, and, yeah, it was an evolution of gas. It wasn't a new sound. Yes. It was a growth of a sound. So, yeah, it was definitely something special. So, I mean, the world of music has lost, has lost a, a legend. Uh, not just, I mean, his family has lost a loved one. Yes. They've lost a son, they've lost a brother, they've lost a, a, a nephew, they've lost somebody very close. And you yourself, you've lost a, a good friend yes. from, from what you've told us. But the country has lost a, a, a legend of a, of, a, of a musician. Would I be wrong in saying that? No, you're not. I mean, to, uh, to go to forms, he's the, he's the, I won't say founding member, to, because I don't want to take away from Zwai and Cabello, but he's a great pillar of the trio, the TKZ, the legendary Lala Mapanzul, you know, uh, and, 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 and because he is gone now, the trio is not complete without him, you know. So, yes, I'll say we all lost. Yeah. We all lost our some. condolences and thank you for taking the time while the sad news is still sinking in to yeah. come into our studios here ENC just to reflect on some of the greatness that uh, Tukulo uh, uh, performed while he, when he was still around. Thank you very much and our condolences here at ENC to you and of course the family of, uh, of Tukulo Magesh Shabalala. I mean he was the son of uh, a South African football coach uh, Screamer Shabalala so our hearts go out to the family at uh, this time so the South African music, uh, music love as well.